Howdy folks, Campy here. Thanks for joining us for this week's segment of D-Bad, Don't Be a Dick. Today we're going to discuss um, a low-range douchebag. This is someone who makes a conscious decision to be a douchebag, um, but they start with dickery and progress to douchebaggery. This is a new one to me. Uh, apparently it's been around for a while, but it's new on this 46-year-old kid. This is the asshole who at work um, decides to skirt the system, be a lazy twat waffle, and take his or her phone into the bathroom, acting like they're dropping a stage five Havana omelet and blowing out the porcelain bowl, when in reality, they're just sitting there and finger blasting their phone, checking out their social media, texting their friends, selling shit on buy, swap, sell, whatever the hell it is they're doing. But they're in there for an extended period of time, and it's hard not to notice because they're missing from the workforce, they're not being productive, they're not contributing in any way, shape, or form, and they feel as though they're, they're entitled. Um, they're pieces of shit, they're bags of dicks, and this is what they do. They're part of an entitled class of yam bags who serves no good purpose. And they start on the low end but become dicks pretty quick and then jump right into douchebaggery. It's important to address these people with uh, most copious amounts of fuckery possible. Make them aware of their dickishness and their douchebaggery. Make them know that um, they're not contributing, they're not paying into what everyone else is, and they're really just sucking at everything. Um, they can't make up for it because their work product is pretty much sucking too because they're spending all their time in the crap or finger blasting their phone. You see how this can really spiral into a nightmare? Um, it's interesting. I really wasn't aware of this one till, till kind of recently, and it's really disappointing and frustrating. So I'm hoping you can all learn from what I'm learning from and address it with copious amounts of fuckery whenever you have a chance. Leave it at that today. Um, again, from dickery right up to stage five douchebaggery and everything in between, depending on what they do in that bathroom. Um, make sure they know that they're screwing up. Share the wealth. Get it done. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for laughing. And please, don't be a dick. Cheers. Figure